Meta's Lemma 3.2 could be their most important AI release so far, offering impressive versatility from text and image analysis to real-time voice interactions. The Lama 3.2 lineup features mobile-friendly models like the 1B and 3B versions which are ideal for tasks on mobile apps and edge devices due to their lightweight design. For more complex needs, the powerful 11B and 90B models equipped with vision capabilities can process both text and visual information, making them great for tasks like image captioning, document analysis, and visual question answering. These models support 8 languages and handle up to 128 tokens in a single context. Beyond Lama, Meta is also innovating in augmented reality with new AR glasses, Orion VR tech, and AI-powered advertising tools, along with Meta AI now for smoother interactions, including celebrity voice options. What's really impressive about Meta's Lama 3.2 models is the extensive testing they underwent. Meta didn't throw these models together, they tested them on over 150 benchmark datasets in multiple languages, and they weren't just basic tests. These models were evaluated by real humans and compared with top competitors like Anthropic Claw Tree and OpenAI's GPT-4. This shows Lama 3.2 is a serious player in the AI space. Now, let's delve into the numbers. Lama 3.2 models can handle a massive 128,000 token context length, which means they can process huge amounts of data at once. To put into perspective, it's like feeding the AI several hundred pages from a textbook and having it handle everything smoothly. This makes it ideal for tasks requiring a large amount of information, such as generating long-form content and analyzing detailed reports or working with big data sets. Another standout feature is the multilingual support right out of the box. These models support 8 languages. English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Hindi, and Thai. This makes Lama 3.2 even more versatile across different tasks and regions. If you're building something that needs to work globally or handle multilingual tasks, Meta's Lama 3.2 models have you covered. For mobile or edge applications, the 1B and 3B models are lightweight yet powerful, excelling at tasks like text summarization locally on devices leading to faster response times and better privacy since there's no need to constantly connect to the cloud. On the other hand, if you're looking for serious power, the 11B and 90V vision models are where things really shine. These models integrate image encoder representations, meaning they can process both text and images together. They're perfect for tasks like document analysis where you might be dealing with mix of scanned text, charts, and tables. The 90B model can handle high-resolution images and even reason about what it sees, making it ideal for industries that need advanced image processing and visual reasoning. To make things even easier for developers, Meta introduced the Lama Stack, a toolkit designed to simplify the integration and deployment of these models. It includes API adapters and other tools that allow developers to benchmark Lama models across different platforms. This flexibility lets developers mix and match components to build AI applications without starting from scratch every time. Whether you're working in the cloud or on local devices, you can access these models via platforms like Amazon, Bedrock, Hugging Face, or Llama.com. Meta is really embracing the open source approach with its Llama models, allowing developers to customize and fine tune them for specific needs. Mark Zuckerberg even compared it to creating the Linux of AI, meaning these tools are designed to be open, flexible, and accessible to everyone. Beyond AI models, Meta is also pushing hard in augmented reality or AR. At their annual developer conference, they unveiled Orion, their next-gen AR glasses, which can project digital images, media, games, and even people into the real world. These glasses offer the widest field of view in the industry, making them far more immersive than other options currently available. While they're still in development and are expected to release around 2027 or possibly sooner, they are being tested internally and with select developers. 
In the meantime, Meta is seeing success with their Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. These AI-powered wearables have been a surprise hit, selling more units in just a few months than the previous generation did in two years. The strongest interest suggests that consumers are increasingly excited about the possibilities of AI-powered wearables. Meta also announced the Quest 3S, a more affordable version of their Quest 3 virtual reality headset set to launch on October 15 for $299. The Quest 3S is designed to make VR more accessible to a wider audience. In line with this, Meta is discontinuing the older Quest 2 and Quest Pro models and has reduced the price of the standard Quest 3 from $649 to $499. For anyone looking to get into VR without breaking the bank, the Quest 3S offers a great entry point. Another exciting update Meta rolled out their conference is the voice capabilities for Meta AI. Now, Meta AI can respond using a variety of celebrity voices including Judi Dench, John Cena, Kristen Bell, and Keegan-Michael Key. This new feature adds a fun twist to AI interaction, letting you customize your experience while chatting with your AI assistant on platforms like WhatsApp, Messenger, Facebook, or Instagram. Whether you're asking for help, getting advice, or creating images, the assistant can now speak back to you in a familiar voice. Meta's aim with this feature is to make AI interactions feel more natural, believing that voice communication is a more intuitive way for people to engage with their AI assistants. Meta's AI voice capabilities are evolving far beyond simple conversations. Now, the AI can analyze images shared in chats and even make edits such as removing objects or changing backgrounds. This makes AI incredibly useful for quick, practical edits on the go. The system also responds to both voice and text commands, offering more flexibility in how people interact with AI. On the business front, Meta continues to expand its AI-powered tools for advertisers. Over 1 million advertisers are already using Meta's AI to generate ad campaigns, and just last month alone, more than 15 million ads were created using these tools. According to Meta, Ad campaigns using AI are seeing an 11% higher click-through rate and a 7.6 higher conversion rate compared to traditional campaigns which highlights AI's effectiveness in digital marketing. Meta is also working on personalizing content even further. They're developing a system that can generate custom images based on user preferences and experimenting with AI-generated avatars that could replicate a person's likeness. This technology could lead to fully personalized content, making social media even more tailored to each user. If you're into exploring AI, robotics, and future tech, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.